When I was probably four or five years old, I found a Best of Buddy Holly and the Crickets cassette tape, and I'd play that in my Fisher Price little tape deck. My first memory of my dad is him wearing a skeleton earring and black eyeliner, and I just remember looking up and being like, whoa, weird, my dad is a rock and roller. We all saved up our money to get studio time, and you know, we wrote songs ourselves. Our first few releases were seven inches, which were a lot of fun, but really expensive to make. And then we realized that cassettes are really affordable. We wanted our own label, and once we did it ourselves, it was like, oh, we can do this for other people too. And I quit my job, I moved out of my house, and I spent every single dollar opening the store and building it. No Bunny's Raw Romance was definitely what sparked it. As we sold 500 tapes in a week and a half, and that kind of blew our mind. Like, in the last eight years, we put out over 800 releases on cassette, and we've sold between 300 and 350,000 tapes. Being able to release music, you know, for a few hundred bucks versus a few thousand dollars. It's a big difference. You can take chances on new music with it only being $5. These bands that start off with 100 tapes, you know, they blow up into selling thousands and thousands of records. We just did our fourth Burgerama, and it was the biggest one yet. It's just pretty cool that people are paying attention and are excited for all of these bands. It's all about turning people onto music for me. When books are being written about music history, if there's a sentence about Burger Records in there, like that's what it's all about. It's my love for what we do and my belief in that what we're doing is, is good for music.